It's something that, you know, it is newer. I think that the emergence of purpose-built rentals is definitely starting to become a little bit more popular here in the GTA, but it is popular because it's been so well received by people. And again, I think the days are behind us of people just like renting a box in the sky and just calling it home. They truly are looking for the lifestyle component and they want to know their neighbors. They want to feel like they're bought into the community. And again, they want to have everything at their fingertips. Welcome to another episode of Sink or Swim, brought to you by RentSync. From operational challenges to marketing mastery, we uncover the strategies and technologies in all things prop tech. So let's dive in as we explore the trends, tactics, and insights that define the future of multifamily investments. Sink or Swim starts now. Hey, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Sink or Swim, the podcast where we navigate the currents of the rental housing industry. I'm your host, Giacomo Lattis, and my guest today is Dimitri Kritikos, Director of Property Management at Rhapsody. Dimitri, thanks so much for joining me today. Really happy to talk to you. Absolutely. I'm super excited to be here. Thanks for having me. Yes, of course. Well, the reason why I want to have you on the show today was because you offer a really unique perspective on mixed use developments, as we saw with the introduction of 450 The Well. But maybe before we get into that discussion, maybe start elaborating a little bit on yourself and what your role dictates as the director of property management. Yeah, definitely. So I am a director of property management here for Rhapsody in the GTA. And so with my role, it kind of oversees a multiple portfolio communities here in Toronto. And I'm responsible for kind of growing our team, making sure that the sites are successful. And overall, just really making sure that our clients and ownership are extremely happy for their partnership here with Rhapsody. Yeah, so it's pretty busy. (laughs) Yes, yes, definitely a busy time. (laughs) Okay, so then maybe for those who are unfamiliar with it, what are a mixed-use development building? Maybe start from the ground up, because I'm sure we have listeners who probably have never even heard that term before. Sure. A mixed-use development is going to be definitely, I think, A, the wave of the future, but B, a super exciting development because in a mixed-use development, it's going to encompass a lot of key components, which is going to be residential spaces, typically office space, retail space, and then there'll be some type of components of, you know, maybe a park or promenades that are going to be incorporated into the mixed use development. And then another component is going to be when the developers are looking for the land space for a mixed use development, they're going to typically look for something that's going to be accessible to transportation. So whether it be highways, if it's a car dependent mixed use development in the suburbs, Or like here at the well, we're in downtown urban markets. So they really wanted to make sure that they were accessible to public transportation because, as you know, Toronto, there's a lot of traffic here. So not everybody has a car. So being able to be close to, you know, the Spadina streetcar, the King streetcar, as well as the GO trains downtown at Union Station. So these are some of the things that the developers are looking for when they're going into a mixed-use development. And so for this specific project, you're going to see that we offer purpose-built rentals, which we have three towers of that that are probably managed by Rhapsody. You're going to have three condo towers, as well as the office space over at 8 Spadina. And then on top of that, you're going to have the three levels of retail that's going to offer a myriad of different things, which is going to be health and lifestyle. So whether it's a doctor's office, a dentist's office, or Sweat and Tonic's new flagship location. And then you're going to have eateries such as the anticipated Wellington market that's going to be opening soon. You're going to have restaurants such as Era and Lulu Bar. And then you're also going to have retail spaces like the flagship Adidas store, a Frank and Oak, coffee shops, everything. It's really something that's going to be a live, work, eat, play space. So that is usually how I describe a mixed-use development to people in kind of layman's terms, is that it's an all-encompassing place. Hmm. Sounds like you kind of see these types of buildings really as the, the future of purpose-built rentals, right? Maybe even so much as prospecting tenants, they're looking for more when they come to looking for an apartment, I guess. I guess that's why you kind of see it as the future. 
Yes, definitely. I think that the kind of norm of having your apartment or condo or home really just being the place where you go home to sleep is not really as popular anymore. I think that there has been a shift. And I think that people are truly looking for experiences and they want things as instant gratification. So with a mixed use development, you're going to have everything at your fingertips. So in like in reference to the well, let's say. So let's say you rent a suite with us at 450 the well. So you're going to be going there. And of course, this is your home. Then maybe you have your job and you're working at 8 Spadina. How convenient is that to be able to walk home for your lunch break and maybe you walk your dog during that time frame so you don't have to hire a dog walker. And then you're going to happy hour with your friends or coworkers at the rooftop bar at ERA. And all of this is within kind of like your little bubble. On the weekends, maybe you're going to brunch after taking a spin class at Sweat and Tonic. And so... Not only is it going to be, you know, your home, but everything is right there at your fingertips. And it really is all encompassing. And I think that it is turning into an amenity as well. So, of course, the purpose built rentals and our communities are going to offer things such as, you know, fitness centers and parcel lockers that have cold and dry storage and 24 hour concierge and things of that nature. But you're also going to have accessibility to some of the most unique retail spaces, office spaces right there within steps from your front door. So I think that is part of the reason why this is becoming such a popular trend is that it bleeds into the entire kind of like campus as opposed to just being that building that you live in. Yeah, it sounds like that comes with a lot more like expectations from the prospecting tenant though, right? It seems like, yeah, this is the future personal rentals, but then maybe the industry itself has to maybe not change, but adapt more towards like, hey, these people are now going to start expecting this. They're going to expect more than just a place to sleep, which I'm sure adds a lot more challenges in, in everything on your side, the marketing side of things, how you show the suites. But Let's back up a little bit because I want you to elaborate a little bit more on the well. Like I I had a privilege to see it and I could do it a little bit, but not as good as you. So what is the well? You know, I know it's a mixed use development building, but I'd love to hear your perspective on it. Definitely. So the well is a huge, huge, huge campus that's going to be located off of Spadina Avenue and right in between Front Street and Wellington Street. And so it is just under eight acres. So that is just a massive space. And it's going to encompass six residential towers. So three of them being condos and then three of them being the purpose-built rentals that Rhapsody manages. In addition to that, you're going to have 320,000 square feet of retail space. So again, this is going to be encompassing the Wellington Market, the restaurants, the Adidas store, Arcadia Earth, Indigo Shoppers. So you're going to have everything right there at your fingertips. And then lastly, you're going to have the office tower, which is located at 8 Spadina. And so that offers 1.2 million square feet of premium office space. And so truly, when I say it is a live, work, eat, play space, it's going to offer everything. And then it's located, of course, right in a fabulous part of the city. So King West is vibrant, it's fun, and it's electrifying. But you can also access almost every neighborhood from there, which is fabulous. And then there's also going to be parks and promenades. So on Wellington, the buildings are tucked back a little bit more so that there really is a promenade space there. You're going to have the open air canopy space that's going to be three levels. And so that's going to kind of protect you from the elements because we are here in Canada, in (laughs) Toronto. So as we know, you can get rain, snow, sunshine all in the same day. So you can really use this any time of the year. And then there's going to be tons of parks nearby too. So whether it's right on Portland, it's right on Spadina and Wellington, there's going to be a park on each side of us, as well as you can go just south of the community too. And then you're going to have access to the lakefront. So it really, really is going to have so many offerings at the well and you truly kind of never have to leave the space. Right. Where did the name come from? It's an interesting name. 
Yeah. So underneath the campus, we actually have a geothermal well. And so this is what's going to provide like heating, cooling, and energy to not only the campus, but we've partnered with N-Wave on that. And they are able to store energy there and then supply it out to kind of the grid map of the King West and downtown core. So this is a super exciting thing. And, you know, it ties into sustainability, which is a huge thing for not only our clients, but for Rhapsody. And I think for all of Canadians, I mean, we need to be thinking about that and how we can increase sustainability because our carbon footprint, we're looking towards a net zero here for Rhapsody and our clients. And so partnering and creating these huge developments that tie into a geothermal type of energy system really is the wave of the future. It is a benefit for the residents because, of course, their utility bills are going to be lower than what you might see at a traditional community. So that's definitely a huge benefit for them. But as far as our clients go, they were able to achieve lead platinum status for the community. So the campus itself is going to have that, which is extremely exciting. And it's definitely a difficult thing to achieve. But because of the way that they have incorporated the well into the campus, that was one of the ways that they were able to get that across the finish line. It's just like a little added bonus there, right? You know, it's something that's maybe not yeah, it sounds cool. We have a geothermal well, but I didn't realize that there's actually like monetary benefits as well with it. So that's really interesting. Definitely, definitely. And it's something that I think is becoming more and more of a bonus to the renters. Of course, they like seeing that their utility bills are a little bit lower. But as younger generations enter into the you know rental market, that is something that they're passionate about. I think that you know, with millennials and Gen Z, they truly are looking at climate change and they're looking at ways of increasing sustainability. So for us, our agents at the communities and maintenance teams, everybody is able to speak to this initiative. And it's something that we're able to discuss with them. And it is something that is important to them. So we have been able to capitalize on that and we've seen an uptick in our leasing and touring because of it. Hmm. I believe it. There's so much about the community itself, but I think we could maybe focus a little bit on maybe to some of the most important thing is the suites themselves. Maybe tell me a little bit about the suites at a mixed use building like this. I've had the ability to see a few, but you know, from studio to perhaps penthouses, kind of see what do you actually get with the suites and what kind of went behind the design and the architecture of those? Definitely. So the suites are fantastic. We do have multiple different offerings. So as Rhapsody, like I said, we proudly manage two of the communities here. So there's going to be residents at the well, which is located at 425 and 435 Wellington. And then we also manage 450 The Well, which is at 450 Front Street. They're going to be two different product mixes. So residents at The Well, you're going to have larger square footages, and they're going to range from one bedrooms to three bedrooms, as well as having a penthouse collection. Full service community, and their average square footage over there is going to be 900 square feet, which for the GTA and a purpose-built rental is extremely large. They have huge cascading terraces that are kind of located on Wellington Avenue that give you that outdoor space as well. Wine fridges in every apartment. They're going to have 9 to 11 foot ceilings. And it is really a robust community. They're going to have Peloton bikes on their rooftop fitness center. Again, 24-hour concierge, cold and dry storage, massage rooms that can be activated through our resident portal if you don't have your own masseuse. And so you're able to book that out and have an RMT come in, and it really brings all those services into you. Then you're going to have 450 The Well, which is 592 luxury suites in a 46-story tower. And this is one of the ones that you were able to come in and view with us. And it is vibrant. It's fun. It's eclectic. And at that community, it's going to offer studios to three bedrooms. And then we have our much anticipated penthouse collection there as well. 
So we're really going to be able to hit a diverse audience here between both communities because the offerings, they're just there. So if you are looking for a large space, but you want that boutique community, maybe you're going to be going towards residents at the well. If you're looking for expansive views and you know you want to have the lake views and watch the sunsets and everything, 450 the well is truly probably going to be the ideal space for you. And we see that in the demographics that are coming into the communities as well. And luckily, we're able to kind of cater and capitalize on a broad range of them. But I think that not only is it just the suites that are selling, because of course, they are you know, quartz countertops, hard surface flooring throughout, high ceilings, floor to ceiling windows, low efficiency appliances, all of those things are really, really great. But what I've always said is that there's a difference between a tall building and running a luxury high rise. And at Rhapsody and at 450 The Well, we truly run a luxury high rise because you're going to see the difference when you walk in. You're going to be greeted by a concierge. There's going to be a leasing and management office right off of the entrance that is going to be fully staffed seven days a week. So you're going to be meeting with a trained leasing agent that knows the building inside and out. You're going to have white glove services offered to you, such as our maintenance team is willing to hang TVs for you, hang artwork, shelving, all of that stuff so that it can take the ease off of moving. Moving is one of the most stressful things that we do in our lives. It's the worst thing. (laughs) No one enjoys it, but we have to do it. (laughs) Absolutely. And so... You know, our teams were there to assist in that process. So whether it is hanging your TV for you or your leasing consultant meeting you for a move-in orientation and showing you around the entire community and throughout your suite, that is something that the residents appreciate. I know when I moved into my space, I kind of went on a little adventure and looked for the gym and the pool and everything of that nature. So having a dedicated professional that is going to make time, know your name, and show you around, that is a huge win and a benefit. And again, just the amenity packages that we offer. You're going to have co-working spaces. We even have soundproofed phone booth that you can take calls from in our co-working space. They have a pizza oven on their outdoor deck, as well as six gas grills, a pet run. And then, of course, you cannot even go without saying, the 46th floor fitness center and yoga room has some of the best views in the city. It's one of the highest rooftop gyms in the entire city. It's high. Yeah, (laughs) it's really high. (laughs) I've had the letter to see it and it it is high. (laughs) Yeah, but it's extremely robust. And like I said, we have Pelotons in there. We have weightlifting equipment, we have free weights, we have cardio machines. And then not only do the views sell you, but it makes you want to go up there and actually work out. And, you know, because we are a professionally managed community, there's always going to be tailored events too. So we have personal trainers that come in and teach classes twice a week, whether it be yoga, Pilates, or HIIT classes. And so I think that that's definitely something different than what people are accustomed to in the GTA. And we really do try and program the spaces and do a great job curating a sense of community. So, you know, I will say I think that our team members at The Well are some of the absolute best in the industry. And they do a fantastic job with curating events. Like we had a huge holiday party in the 8th Spadina event space. They did a Valentine's Day event. Of course, be doing summer functions on the rooftop. And all of that really helps tie into that sense of community. We want people to get to know their neighbors. We want them to feel at home. You know, if you're running late at work, you can text your friend and say, hey, can you maybe take my dog out for me? And so that's something that is really impactful for us is just making sure that we always are creating that sense of community for our residents. No, that's great. And I think kind of the reason why I want to have you on specifically and to talk about the well is, I think it's maybe more of a thing in North America, but there seems to be, for lack of a better term, a stigma for renting, right? It's like, oh, you can't get into homeownership. Oh, you're renting. But when you kind of hear what these buildings are now, how they're not just 
a suite where you sleep. But it's, it's a full community with commercial and residential spaces mixed together. And like you said, they'll help you move. They'll have classes at the gym. I think what this is actually doing by having higher expectations, but also offering a lot more is it's maybe changing the stigma about what renting is. And I mean, there's no way around it. The, the cost of rents are going up in this country, but what you now are getting out of these rentals it actually might be the way for people to live. It's actually offering them a much higher quality of life. And I think it's the first step to really changing how people think of, of renting. Like, obviously, I don't think that at all. And there's a lot of places around the world where people just rent the rest of their lives. But you get that sense here that's, oh, you're renting? You don't buy a house? Well, no, I don't want to because at, a, at the well, why would I buy a house, right? So I think this building actually and the whole idea of upping your game and upping your service is actually kind of ending or working to end the stigma of what renting is. So I think what you guys are doing are great. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that, you know, we are seeing a shift in that stigma because when we are renting to our prospects, these are people who can go out and buy homes or they are people who are actually selling their homes and choosing to come and rent with us. And so they love the fact that this is kind of a turnkey place. If the appliances go out, we're going to be the ones that replace them. They don't have to worry about those unexpected costs. And, you know, with immigration in Canada and the GTA really kind of having an influx right now, we are capturing a lot of that market because when you move to a new country, you don't maybe know exactly what neighborhood or area you want to live in. And so it's a great way to test that out, too. So because you're putting down permanent roots, of course, if you purchase and maybe you've never been here, or been able to explore it too much. And so this is a great way to test it out. But what we're seeing is that our residents and our prospects truly love the experience that they're getting, that our retention rates are around 70 percent. And so people are loving living there. They're not getting those experiences in their condo places. And it's almost like an easy way of ownership. But one of the other additional things, too, is that with renting with us, they're guaranteed the space. If you're renting a condo or something, you know, the condo owner could say, hey, I need to move back in here because I need to downsize because of costs going up or something. And then the person could get kicked out abruptly. We would never do that to somebody. We always offer renewals to people and they're able to extend their tenancy and truly call this their home. It's our goal to create that sense of community where they want to stay. And what we're seeing is that people are receiving that and it's definitely showing off in our retention rates, our reputation management. And I think it's certainly breaking the stigma of what ownership versus renting is. Uh, no, absolutely. And and kind of the touch point on something you mentioned there, I'm just curious, like the persona of someone who would typically go for a building like the well, are, are you saying actually quite a lot of it are international, like newcomers? Are they students? Like what typically are your tenants made up of? Because you think like such a luxury building like this, they're all older people who maybe have sold their home and have, right? But that's not the actual case, right? It's actually kind of a mix of people who are maybe looking for a mixed use development building. Definitely. We cater to, you know, all demographics and it's nice that we're able to do that between the two communities and then also between the suite designs that we've created. So at the well, at the purpose built rentals that Rhapsody manages, we're actually offering studios from 372 square feet to penthouse collections that are about 1600 square feet. So with that, you're definitely going to cater to a large audience. But we are seeing that we have young professionals. We have students who are coming in and getting a two or three bedroom and creating roommate situations, as well as, you know, people working downtown who just are a couple and maybe this is their first time living together and they get a one bedroom or a one den. But then additionally, something that kind of like we were a little bit even caught off guard with is that we're having a ton of people who are selling their homes. It's definitely been a great market for that. And then they're coming and they're living with us. And truly, their feedback is always so positive. They were like, this is not what I expected rental living to be like. Like you are programming the spaces. We have everything at our fingertips. And 
they always looked at it as like, if I move to the city, I need to buy a condo. There's fees. There could be a special assessment, things of that nature. But we're offering that to them with a no ease, like peace of mind kind of living. I didn't know this was rental living. And that's such a thing right now, right? People don't know that. Actually, there are so many more benefits, right? Like some people don't even know that some of these personal rentals, you know, they have a pool or a gym, right? So that's really interesting you mentioned that. People don't even know. Yeah, it's something that, you know, it is newer. I think that the emergence of purpose-built rentals is definitely starting to become a little bit more popular here in the GTA, but it is popular because it's been so well received by people. And again, I think the days are behind us of people just like renting a box in the sky and just calling it home. They truly are looking for the lifestyle component and they want to know their neighbors. They want to feel like they're bought into the community. And again, they want to have everything at their fingertips. And I think what's nice with the well and quite frankly, all of our purpose-built rentals that Rhapsody manages here in Canada and especially in the GTA is that it offers that, again, peace of mind living And it is something that is accessible to multiple different demographics. And you don't have to worry about, you know, when things break, taking a month or two to have that issue resolved. We're on site. We're there. We're closing out work orders typically on the same day or within 48 hours, pretty much maximum. So when I say peace of mind living, that's what we're offering to our residents And then on top of that, they're getting the benefits of these brand new, gorgeous communities that if they were potentially to go out there and purchase a place, they wouldn't be getting, you know, the additional extra space and all of the amenities and quartz countertops, brand new finishes and all of the cutting edge things. So I think that's part of the reason why it's been so well received. Yeah. And it's interesting, too, because it seems like there's always this balance we're trying to strike between not just a rental suite, but a lifestyle that you're selling as well. So I'd imagine marketing something like that comes with a lot of uniqueness, right? You know, coming from someone who was in marketing, I've marketed a lot of people who are, they're just having like a room in the sky, but that's completely almost secondary from what the well is doing where, what you know, coming to marketing this building like this, you're actually trying not just even to promote the rental suite Maybe you want to promote the lifestyle more. Is is that kind of what the, the mindset behind this is? Mo- things are going more towards a lifestyle? Yes. I feel like that's definitely the direction that it's been moving towards. And I think that you can see that in our marketing campaigns. You know, whenever, I mean, you can't open social media right now and not see an influencer not at the well, whether it is our purpose-built rentals, the condos, or just going and having a day out at either era for drinks or going to sweat and tonic because they're doing a spin class and even the videos that like we're using for marketing purposes they don't just showcase somebody inside the suites or inside the amenities it's showcasing them actually living their day-to-day life inside the mixed-use development but also inside the neighborhood so If you go on our website and actually look at the like teaser videos that we have, you're going to see people walking around King West. You're going to see them on the TTC, maybe going to work. So we really kind of want to capture the lifestyle component, but also the accessibility to the neighborhood, to everything that you need. Again, it really is tying into that live, like work, play, eat everything at your fingertips. And maybe just to kind of wrap things up, if somebody wants to kind of discover the well, you know, where do they go? It sounds like you guys are on social media, but how do people kind of see what this amazing place is like before they maybe make that first phone call? Yeah, absolutely. We're always open seven days a week, so they can either pop into one of the addresses and meet with one of our leasing agents at 425 and 435 Wellington, as well as 450 Front Street. They can check us out at Rhapsody Living. And our website will have all the links on there, or they can check out our websites for 450 The Well or Residents at The Well too. Awesome, man. We're going to link all that in the show notes here. Yeah. Thanks so much, Dimitri. I really appreciate this. And I think, you know, by setting these higher expectations, we're actually doing a lot more than just offering an incredible way to live, but we're also changing the stigma of what people look as for renting. So I think the work you guys are doing is really terrific. I've had the privilege of seeing the building and I can assure you that 
as well of a job as you've done explaining it. It doesn't do it justice. You do have to see it to really understand just how incredible it is. So yeah, again, Dimitri, thanks so much for coming on today. It was great to talk to you and I can't wait to see kind of how this evolves and and how this actually maybe is a kind of big moment in purpose-built rentals and what comes from it. So again, thanks so much for your time and we really appreciate talking to you today. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you having me. Yeah. Thanks everyone for listening. Make sure to rate, review, and subscribe to the podcast wherever you listen. Until next time. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Sink or Swim brought to you by RentSync. If you enjoyed today's show, make sure to visit www.rentsync.com slash podcast for detailed show notes, key takeaways, and more. Thanks for listening. Brought to you by RentSync.